know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. So a little quick one, really. I'm on my way home and I thought I haven't done a preview for a few weeks. Actually, I haven't done a preview for the whole new season, to be quite honest, because I didn't know people wanted to see them. Remember looking back at the views um, over the last season, towards the back end of it, not many people were watching them. So let me know if you want me to start doing previews and reviews again. I can start doing them again, so I put them on the channel. Tomorrow, we probably have our toughest test this season so far, to be honest with you. Uh, I know Fulham was tough, to be fair. So yeah, probably our second hardest game of the season. Um, a team that's in second, doing all right, on good form, QPR. Comes the back of a 3-1 win, I believe, against Hull at the weekend. Very, very strong team. Now, I did predict these lads to finish, I think, mid-table in the championship predictions. I was heavily wrong. Like, I even think now like, I was heavily wrong because I don't think they'll finish mid-table. The way that they're playing at the moment, I can probably see them finishing top six, if I'm being completely honest with you, or just missing out. But I think tomorrow will be a tough game. I don't think it's going to be an easy game down the Riverside. I know we're at home. I know it's a night game, so QPR might not bring many fans. But it's a talent on show for QPR. They've got a lot of good players in that team. And I think I did underestimate them. So I'm sorry to all the QPR fans out there. But like I said, setting inside the league table. Just behind Fulham. We obviously play tonight against Millwall. So it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. Especially for the QPR fans, that is. Um, you know, but Borough coming to it in good form as well. You know, unbeaten so far. I know we've only played a couple of games, like. But, you know, it's still something to go off, isn't it? You know what I mean? So, good result against Fulham. A brilliant result against Bristol City. I did think, you know, the fans definitely pushed Middlesbrough, you know, to go and get a second goal. I thought it was absolutely tremendous. If you bring the same atmosphere tomorrow night, we might be all right. I think, you know, if we can get a win tomorrow, I'd be absolutely fantastic. I'd be absolutely over the moon. QPR is a good side, I've already said. A lot of good players. They'll probably finish high up this season. I probably was wrong as having championship predictions. I don't know what kind of team they're going to play tomorrow. I've already said, you know, they've got goal scorers within that team. They've got playmakers within that team. Skillful players. They've got the whole bunch in there. And I think this season for QPR, um, it's probably the first season I'm probably going to see them really try and get up this league since they had the likes of uh, Tarafte, uh, Joey Barr. I remember that time they won the league or did they come second or something. I remember that season, QPR were absolutely phenomenal. You couldn't play against them. They played you off the park everywhere they went. And I feel like this season, we're going to see a similar QPR return. To obviously, you know, they stay uh, injury-free and what have you. But uh, I think tomorrow will be a tough game. I'm not expecting anything less than a tough game. Score prediction. I want to see a couple of goals in the game. And I think I'm going to go for a 2 all. I think it might be a high-scoring game. And I, to be honest with you, I take a point. As I always said, you know, the second inside the league table for a reason. I know it's only two games. And it might be, people might be saying, look at AJ, man, we're only two games in. But two games, no games, doesn't matter. You know what I mean? These teams that we're playing... You know, they're on good form already, you know, start the season off really, really well. So, I think they may fear us the same that we may fear them a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. A couple of injuries as well. I think Tavernier is not back till 28th of August. And neither is Duncan Watmore. And I think, I think Tube is back for this one. Tube, I know he's been isolating. But I think he may be back. I could be completely wrong there. But let me know inside the comments if I am. The Butter team, I'd rock the probably the same team that played on Saturday. If we can get the result tomorrow, it'll be happy days. But I'm going to go for the points. I'm going to go for Butter 2, QPR 2. What is your score prediction? Let me know inside the comment section. Cheers for all supporting my recent vlog. Absolutely fantastic once again. I'll see you guys soon. Up the Butter.